So we're starting Foundations of Math and Pre-Calculus 10 with the unit on measurement. And last class you brainstormed together using the, the whiteboards. And I asked you to write the word measurement in the middle of the, the chart. And then I asked each of you to write down your thoughts of what you thought measurement was or any terms associated with measurements. This is a sample of one student's work. Then what we did was I collected the um, all your terms and I organized them into columns and and groups them, grouped them according to certain categories. This is an example of block A's. Thanks, Stephen, for uh, uploading it for us. And this is an example from block H. So I'm going to use block H's um, results, class results, only because I've got the terms written in darker color. The different categories are, are this. We have objects, and you, you've listed a bunch of objects here. And we can measure different properties of these objects. For instance, its perimeter, the radius, or diameter. And to measure those properties, we need different kinds of tools. And with different kinds of tools, they come, you, they're calibrated with different units. And the units that we're talking about are split into two kinds, imperial or metric. And these are the two terms that I have starred here. Uh, in addition, there's another m thing that we do measure, and that's time. And that was another category. And then the last category was certain constants that are associated with measurements, but uh, really didn't fit into any others of these categories. You've Another term that you'll come across is the word referent. And a referent is some method of estimating a distance. I've already watched the videos where we switch back and forth between units of the same system or sometimes we are going to be switching between units from imperial to uh, metric. The latter half of the unit is going to be dealing with objects and their uh, prop volumes. For instance, the pyramid, the sphere, its hemisphere, a cone, and then we'll also calculate the surface areas of the same objects. Sometimes we need to flatten them. In addition, we'll work with composite objects, so we have a combination. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you watch the videos on unit conversions.